physically you don't need to do anything um, but we will put you into into virtual rooms together for you to discuss a specific question and we will give you a, sp a, a specific timing two or three minutes um, for you to do that when you come when you come back from the breakout room um, you can feed back to Fatih with what you discussed um, the in in parallel to the to the zoom um, the we're going to be um, offering the same uh, contents in telegram or similar contents in telegram so we'll try if people have a problem accessing zoom um, they can follow um, some of the same contents in the telegram group which is the, the english connects telegram group which i think many of you are already members of um, and if, if you are not then do do join um, because there's a lot of you know it's a great platform for sharing and um, and building the community there of teachers from across the 12 english connects countries and finally um and i just hand over um, main muna would you like to mention about the certificate how that's going to work if if people if you would like to receive a certificate of attendance yes absolutely thank you um Kira. so a few minutes uh before the end of the presentation i will share with you uh in the chat box and um in telegram the link of a microsoft form so that's a feedback form very simple one and very quick to fill in uh if you would like to receive a certificate so the idea is to take your time to fill it the deadline i think you have probably three to five hours after the presentation to fill it so please do not hesitate if you would like to receive a certificate and if you don't have the link do not also hesitate to get back to me Thank you and have a nice presentation. Thank you, Maimuna. And we'll remind you about that again at the end of the um, at the end of the webinar before we finish. Um, or Maimuna will rather. Um, okay. So hopefully that's clear. So just a, a quick word on the the new um, the new video teacher training series. Um, this is this was created last uh, this year, so it's brand new. Um, it's a series of um, video um, training sessions um, with with teachers from um, from participating countries in secondary schools. Um, there are ten video lessons, and each lesson, so they've been filmed teaching in their classes um, in their real context, um, and each video has a different focus for teacher training for example giving instructions which we we partly covered last last month in the webinar um, so do do access those they are on the english connects um web website and i will send the i'll send the um the link to to you in the telegram group as, again as a reminder so you can access that um really really engaging contents i hope very hopefully re very relevant um for for your contexts um, and just say, as part of that, each one has self-access CPD um, contents. As I said, ten units. Um, there are each each unit has an accompanying um, workbook um, with clear objectives and with answers. So you can access it by yourself, or if you're working with colleagues, you can do it as a group peer peer training together or perhaps with your inspector or your trainer or your advisor if if you're in contact with them um so um yeah there we are and that, that's for you okay so without further ado um i'm honored to 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 um introduce to you um mrs fatumata fati uh, uh dembele um who is an efl teacher and also mate president from Mali. Um, and Fatih's very kindly um, agreed to present um, today's webinar, focusing on make, how to make our classes uh, more inclusive. So Fatih, over to you. Thank you, Kirios. Thank you, Maimuna. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar our series three. Okay, as Kiru said, I'm currently a president of Malian Association of Teachers of English, and I'm also teaching in an oil girl high school in Bamako. 
the capital city of Mali. Okay, so uh, these are our objectives. Uh, at the end of the sessions, you participants will be able to identify a number of techniques and activities to increase the amount and quality of the teacher student interaction in their classes, compare the activities shown with their own classroom practice. Okay, so now let's start. Uh, we are going to raise your hand. Uh, you can use uh, the teacher or just raise your hand and uh, to describe the two pictures you can see and choose the one you prefer as teacher and say why. Yes, uh, I can see Adi Zatu Amu, yes. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? I'm great, sir. Fatuma, nice to yeah. meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. From Niger, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I prefer the second one. Uh huh. It seems to be a kind of uh, group work or a, a group activity, and uh, it's the one I prefer because it's the one in which uh, usually students learn a lot from one another. Okay, thank you, Azatu. Okay, Jean Claude Coco. Yes, Jean Claude Coco. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. From... Right, so they go silent. They know the micra. Yeah. So I prefer the second from Congo yeah. from DRC. From Congo. Yeah, DRC. Welcome. Yes, uh, I prefer the second picture. Uh huh. The second picture because it's like a work a working group, so they are discussing. It makes the, 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 the class alive than the first, which is like they are listening to a teacher who is like preaching. Right. Okay, thank you. And uh, Mr. Pierre Sekane. Okay, I I prefer number two as my colleague's page. Number um, two. It is this, yeah, it is more engaging and you see that students can um participate discussing uh -huh. one another and exchanging ideas. Okay. So thank I, I think that this is more, more more typical than the other one. Okay, thank you. And okay, uh, thank you, Fadi. Yeah, thank you. Two more people. Oh, uh, Yaya Suntura, Mr. Yaya Suntura, you are muted, Mr. Yaya. We can't hear hear you. Can you unmute your mic, Mr. Suntura? Mr. Suntura, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, from... so I prefer... I'm in Segu. Ah, yeah, okay, from Mali. <laughs> yes, from Mali okay. here. Uh -huh. Welcome. I, I prefer the second one. Uh huh. Because it is uh, like a, a group work. Mm -hmm. And every participant uh, will uh, exchange some ideas. Okay. And I think this is favorite for the English learning. Okay. That's Thank why you. I took the second picture. Okay. So okay. Uh, what is wrong with this first one then, Mr. Sabi? <laughs> Sabi Benzi. What is, what is wrong with the first one then? Hello, are you hearing me? Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Uh, in the first picture, I can see mm -hmm. that uh, the students are not in data at all. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay. Thank Sabi, you. is it possible, please, to yeah, to, yeah. to speak because up? Because I don't think that all the participants uh, hear you very well. Yes. Will you please speak up, Mr. Sabi? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying that I prefer mm -hmm. the second. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the second picture is uh, the students are more engaged. Uh-huh. They are really interacting. OK. Are really <clears throat> OK. Thank you. And can you tell me uh, okay. just one thing that is wrong, that's wrong with uh, the first picture? Mr. Yeah, yeah. You, you have, you got falling banging. Sorry. 
All right. Hello, Patty. Hello. Yeah. Uh, are you Hello. hearing me well? Yeah. Very well. All right. All right. I'm, 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 I'm from Catherine. Okay. All right. And I think the what is wrong with the first picture is that uh, this uh, approach is uh, teacher centered. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The students are focused on the teacher. On the teacher. Yes. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. And Hello. Thank you. The second picture, okay. we have uh -huh. a, a learner center approach. Learner center yeah. approach, and students are all right. Yes. A learner okay. center approach. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Shall Thank I you. go on? Okay, Shall please, I go on to the next slide? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's move to the next slide. Okay. Uh, okay. So now you are going to use the chat board to write yes or no. Uh, I'm going to show you the different uh, sentences. If the first one is yes, you write yes. If it's no, you write no. Okay, let's go. Uh, so you are going to decide whether the following sentences are inclusion or not. Okay, the first one, classroom are filled with diverse learners. Is it inclusion or not? Okay, Mr. Kasum said yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Pierre, yes, Abubakar, yes, Yuga, yes, okay, Ernest, yes, wow, Hervé, Willy, yes, Limam, yes, okay, Amadou, yes, Piram, Adidatu, okay, great. Now the second one, Ted's dress is away from the other desks in the classroom. Is this inclusion or not? Okay, no. Okay, Pierre said no, Mr. Job, no. Mr. Biran, no. Okay. Sadihu, no. Okay. Thank you. Now, the third one the teacher can identify your child's strengths and areas for improvement. Is it inclusion or not? The third one. Okay. Mr. Job, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Hervé said no. Mr. Elway. Okay, Abubakar, yes. Everybody, yes, yes, yes. Okay. 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 Now, the fourth one child does not know classmates and does not have many common classroom experiences. Is it inclusion or not? Wolkoku, yes. No. No. Okay, I did that too. No. Okay. I do no. Okay. We have different answers here. Okay. Then no. Yeah, yeah, Suntura. No. Okay. Now the, the last sentence. The teacher forms mixed groups with strong and weak learners. Do we say that this is inclusion or not? Okay. Ah, okay, Babaka, yes, Hervé, yes, Jean Claude, yes, Yuga, yes, Adibu, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, now uh, we are going to uh, put you in different breakout rooms and you are going to define according to you what is an inclusion inclusive classroom okay you will be assigned to different breakout rooms with other participants and we are going to discuss vacation together how can we define an inclusive classroom okay uh, you will have five minutes for that and uh, don't forget to design someone to represent your group Okay, thank you. And just to just to explain mm -hmm. technically, uh, there we okay. are. So you're going to yeah. be assigned to a, a, a breakout room automatically. You'll receive yeah. an invitation to the breakout room and just accept the, the, the invitation, please. Okay, there we are. Okay.
nearly everybody has joined the breakout room, almost. Yeah, so most, only a few people are still in the main room. Six, seven people. Maimuna, would you mind joining room three to, they've asked for help? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Shall I stay here? I'm going to join uh, room one just to say hello, see how they're getting on. Yeah. <laughs> Maimona? Yeah? Uh, it seems that some people are waiting. Yeah, that's why I came back to be able yeah. to. Uh, let me see the main screen. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I think I think some participants they're having uh, technical issues. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we're almost at the end of the five minutes. Would you like okay. to give them one more minute? Yeah, one more minute. Okay, perfect. Yeah. It was something late.
how many how many groups do we have we have five breakout rooms because okay. i think we are have 31 participants wow okay Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Uh, Did okay. Everybody join. Nobody left, and we break out room. Okay. Hello, Fati. Hello. Hello, Fati. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I left the breakout room unexpectedly. Ah, Can okay. I join again? Yeah. Ah, okay, there will be another breakout room. <laughs> ah, okay. We have okay. Two, more, two more breakout rooms. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm still here in the, in the big room. Yeah, people are joining the big room. Ah, okay. Yeah, we are My Mona, is it okay? Yes, we are still waiting for two or three people, but I think that they've disconnected. Uh, ah, I okay. Think we can start again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can resume. Yeah. Yes. Welcome back. Uh, so, can you share the stream again? Serious. Uh, Hi. Okay. Yeah. So we are we have five groups in the breakout rooms. Okay. So we are listening to group one, please. Group one. Group one. Group one. Hello, Fadi. Yes. Okay. Mr. Fali. All right. So we would review. We were trying to find who is going to represent our group. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the time elapsed. Mm -hmm. So I volunteer myself as the representative mm -hmm. of the group. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh -huh. what we have discussed in our group is that an inclusive classroom is a, a classroom in which we have different levels of learning yeah. from uh, students. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this classroom, teachers are bound to give opportunity for each student mm -hmm. to learn at the same pace as others. Meaning, mm -hmm. here we call what we uh, we call on what we call the process of equity. Yes. Not equality, but equity. Uh huh. Meaning, giving the opportunity for each student mm -hmm. to learn at the same pace as others. Okay by taking into account as well all the possible handicaps that may hinder some students. Yes. And so as to reach the same goal of uh, the teaching and uh, learning at the same time. Okay. Thank you, group one. Group two. Group two. Uh, group two, the second group. Uh, okay. Group three. I uh have -huh. group two. Pierre? Hello, yeah. Sir Pierre? Yes. Uh huh. How can you, how did you define the inclusive classroom okay. in your group? <laughs> I, I was in group three. Ah, uh, group three. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Um, so 
we 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 try to discuss and okay um the definition of uh, inclusive classes. Uh, yes. uh, inclusive class is you know a class where teacher engages all the students in the different activities. All yes. the students are committed without any mm -hmm. any bias. Okay, so oh. the students are put in the same level of in in, in the different activities. And uh, as my colleague say a few minutes ago, there are mm -hmm. three and students you know are given the opportunity to excel themselves in the different activities, even yeah. if the level are not the same. Um, mm -hmm. um, there are different communities, etc., religion, etc., but all are in and are committed to, to the different activities. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, group four. Yeah, Fatih, I think I will jump in. Uh huh. I was with Dr. Who is speaking? Mr. Joe? Yes, uh huh. All right. I was saying that I was with Dr. Costa, Jean Claude, and Biran, and Ernest. So uh, we, we wanted to first um, give the, what we call the characteristic of an inclusive class okay. uh, before which, we end up with the please? definition. Which Sorry? group, please? Group, which group? Number four. Ah, okay. Number four. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yes, I, I said we, we did not have time to end up with a definition, but we managed to have some characteristic of what we found, what we mm -hmm. considered as an inclusive classroom. Uh huh. And first, we said that there should be students' participation. Mm -hmm. Second, opportunities for all students to speak. Yes. Third, collaboration. Uh huh. Fourth characteristic is about student centeredness. Mm -hmm. uh, the fifth characteristic is about uh, the teacher's capacity to support diverse uh, diversity in terms of economic situation, social, cultural needs. Okay. And, and the last characteristic we mentioned was about learner styles. The teacher should take into consideration the different learner styles that might be existing in such a classroom environment. Okay. So that's what we uh, discussed in our groups, and I hope that I was kind of faithful reporter. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Reporter uh, of Group 4. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. David. I'm David. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm David. I was in Group 2. Uh -huh. But um, Group 2, yes. We not, yeah, we did not get to a common ground before we were brought back here, but uh, there mm -hmm. were some proposals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, uh, all the proposals are centered around the fact that. Um, an inclusive uh, classroom should be a class is a classroom where no one should be, uh, should be left behind, where right. students should uh, would be put into groups according to uh, not taking uh, mixing uh, mixed group with weak mm -hmm. and uh, the strong students, yes. and where the teacher would make sure mm -hmm. that all of them should take part into uh, in the activities uh -huh. and. Uh, a classroom uh, centered around students, not teacher-centered classroom. Okay. Uh, Learner-centered classrooms. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Uh, well noted. Like group five something. now? Group one. Group five? Like group, group one. Gr group five. Can, can you move to group five, please? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> group five? Group five, no? Okay, and Mr. Pierre, you would like to add something? Oh, yes. I, yes. Go ahead. I, I just want to add something for, for the group, group one. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to say that inclusive classes are classes where diversity should be celebrated. Yeah. Diversity of, of gender, of culture, of ethnic okay. group, okay. of physical appearance, mm -hmm. of understanding level and reaction. Okay. So as a teacher, we should take into account all these mm -hmm. aspects mm -hmm. and make the whole class involved in the lesson we conduct, regardless uh, student yes. thoughts, promoting this asset by praising them and creating okay. stress-free atmosphere during our classes. In short, okay. inclusive classes are classes where every student should have their say. Mm -hmm. Classes where every student feel at ease. Mm -hmm. Classes during which student may say, this is the place I should be mm -hmm. for my process. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. So I think that all the group has almost the same answers mm -hmm. about an inclusive classes. And it's really very important that we as teachers, we notice that inclusive classes, classroom is just a classroom in which we can have different styles 
different students with disabilities sometimes, but we have to support them. So that's why we have the definition. An inclusive classroom is a general education classroom where students with and without learning differences learn together. This is very important. Yeah. Okay. So now let's move to the other slide, uh, slide where we are going to write on the chat board. Uh, just one technique you as teacher you use in your classes, just one. You use the chat board for that. Just one technique you use in your classes as teacher, okay? Mr. Job said group work. Mm -hmm. Uh, Abu Bakar, group working too. Mm -hmm. LC, pair work. Pair work, I did that too. Group work, Samba Balde. Yeah. Project based learning, yes. Project based work, group work, pair work, uh, classroom debate, pair work, discussion session. Great. Okay. Uh huh. Role play. Yes. Okay. Group work and classroom debate. Uh huh. Group work. Wow. Like group work. That's that's great. <laughs> Which permit to students to talk a lot. Okay. Now we are going to write also one activity you use in your classes. Just one activity. One activity now. Game. Mm -hmm. Can see game. Listening. TPS. TPS. Mr. Job, what is TPS? <laughs> Mr. Job? Yeah, I think they share. Okay. Yeah, was, yeah, Thank you. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Storytelling, TPR, TPR is a total physical response. Okay. Physical response. Yeah. Okay, speaking, yes or no, questions, simulations. Okay, dialogue, role play, writing, storytelling, picture based writing, role play. Okay, interview, presentation. Ah, so these are great activities. Uh, next slide. Okay, so these are some techniques and activities that we need uh, in our classes to make them inclusive. So we have brainstorming, mind map, dramatization, cooperative learning, info gap, as activities, we have songs, storytelling, games, and as you said, role play, uh, games. Okay, thank you. So now uh, another breakout rooms where you will go. You are going to discuss the following two questions. Okay, the first one is how do you make your lessons inclusive? as teachers, and what skills are students developing through each activity? For example, if you, 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 you do an activity with your students, what do your students develop, are developing? What skills are they developing through this activity? Okay? So you will join the breakout room for five more minutes to discuss about these two questions.
I think the can see Robbie it's not he is not online. I've invited him or her to join one of the breakout room. Um, you can see? Oh, oh you can see Robbie. Who, who is that, um, Maimuna? Yeah. It's the can see Robbie. Yeah. Robbie has been invited in uh, a breakout room, but um no answer he's muted yeah i don't know yeah okay sometimes maybe he's, the, he's gone to do something i i get sometimes people are busy with something for a few minutes i guess <sighs> Maybe they're shy. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no. We have to make our webinar inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. True. <laughs> we have three minutes left. Okay. It's um, nearly five to, we've been going for 53 minutes, perhaps, um, perhaps end the end this, uh, and we've got one more breakout room still to do, perhaps end this one now. Just thinking about the timing. We don't want to run over by too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's probably enough, isn't it? People have had maybe a, we can, a chance to. And maybe I can take the answer of two groups. Yes, good idea. One. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, we have one minute left. Okay. One minute. 
Okay. You've closed them. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Still five groups. It was five groups. Yes, I think uh, we are all back in the main room. We okay. Can okay. It was five groups again. Yes, it was five groups. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, so now I'm going to just take the answers of uh, two groups. Uh, group uh, five. And group two, group five, group five, group five, who represent group five? Yes, a I'm member of prim primus, primus who represents group five. Okay. Yeah, I'll yes. go by the first, I'll go by the first question. How do you make your lessons inclusive? Mm -hmm. I think before we prepare our lessons, we need to take into consideration the curriculum outcome. Okay. That every activity we plan for a particular lesson, we have to match it with the curriculum goal. Mm -hmm. So once we match our activities, our lessons to our skills of work, we need mm -hmm. to also take into consideration the different learning preferences of individual learners, irrespective of their individual barriers. Mm -hmm. So once we take into consideration their learning styles, able to let them know why we are teaching them, because the objective is not only teaching them, but the mm -hmm. objective is the outcome of the lesson, okay. which is what they have digested in the course of their teaching, mm -hmm. the outcome. Okay. And again, I think after teaching them, when we give them activities, we should limit the number of students in each group. Okay. To should limit the number of students in groupings so that teaching should be effective. We should not okay. pay them only as per their difficulties, but we should try to meet them so that they can learn from one another. Okay. Yes, that's what I think about uh, planning an inclusive lesson. Okay. Thank you. Group five. Who was speaking, please? Hello? That was Primus. That was Primus. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, group two. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, uh, I'm from David. Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, for us to make our classroom inclusive, mm -hmm. we need to first, at the early beginning of our teaching lessons, we need mm -hmm. to make diagnostic assessments to know the different backgrounds and the different levels of our students so that okay. we can make sure that we mix we mix our uh, students into the groups uh, to make sure every background every um, social background are mixed together in a uh, in a group okay uh, mm -hmm. now can we move to the question number 2 or are we still in question number 1 mm -hmm. can we Pardon? Yeah, move you to can question continue two? two yeah you can uh, okay. answer to two. Yeah, for the question number 2 well mm -hmm. for example where um, with um, role play, 
mm -hmm. we can we can promote um, speaking skills. Okay. In written reports or gap gap feelings, mm -hmm. we can promote writing skills. Okay. And with songs, we can promote listening skills. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Premios? Yes, you add so I, yes, I want to add, I do not answer question number two. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we are training this uh, kids in the classroom to become uh, a tool to the community. Mm -hmm. Not just for the classroom, a tool for the community to become universal citizens. So I think okay. in the classroom for inclusiveness to really help us to develop our activities, we need to build okay. their behavior, their individual behavior. Because learning okay. will not end in the classroom. Okay. And now, what do we need to, to do to build their behaviors? We need to make them interact. We need to teach them moral values. We need to teach them ICT tools. We need to teach them minimum core values like language, like lit, and the rest. So their behavior will count in and out of the classroom. Okay. So they Thank should belong to, to universal citizenship. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Miss uh, Asujeng okay. and then uh, mm. Sabi. Just one minute, one minute, please. Okay. <laughs> Asu? Asu, you raise your hand. Uh, she's not online. OK. Hello? Mrs. Hello? Mrs. Sabi, yeah. Yes, OK. So I would like okay. to add something about uh, the first question. Mm -hmm. Can you speak up, please? Uh, oh. No? Speak up, Asabi. I'm saying that. Yeah. Uh, As Asabi is speaking. Asu, after Asabi, you will, you will speak. Uh -huh. Hello. Yeah. Who's speaking? I live in Uganda. Asu, please wait. Please wait. After Asabi, you are going to speak. Please. Uh -huh. Asabi has the floor. Uh -huh. So, so I will say Asabi. that. Uh, to make the lesson inclusive. Mm -hmm. Motivation is very important. Yes. Because in the class, when there are shy students, mm -hmm. they will not participate. The same thing with your students who learn learning disabilities. Okay. To motivate them in class. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, Asu. Asu, one minute. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I am lately in the class. That's why I was. I find it very difficult to join the Zoom class. So. Okay. I okay. Okay. You, you don't have something to add to. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Because mm -hmm. I have, uh, can I know the questions that you recently asked? Uh, okay, okay. So uh, there, it was a a work to do in breakout rooms, and we are on the debriefing of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> we are just talking about how to make the lessons inclusive. Okay. Okay. Will there will be a, another breakout rooms, and we will have a chance to work in that breakout room. Okay. Yeah, thank, inshallah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, please, Kirus, I can see one more lady. <laughs> so, the last one. Okay, okay yes. just maybe quickly then. Yeah, yeah quickly. Okay. Robert? Mm -hmm. Robert? Nah. Ah, okay, she's, no, she's not following. Okay, we okay. Can move. should we move on? All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so. So to make uh, our classes uh, inclusive, you can say that we, we can just use inclusive activities as you all said. So we make learning inclusive by using interactive activities, start the lesson with warm-up activities. That is very important because you cannot just enter in the class and start our lessons without a warm-up activities. You can even make the lessons oh, boring. And also play games. You can start by playing games or during the classes or sing a song. Yes, sing a song. If you have a teacher or a student can sing a song. 
okay, start communication at the beginning. For example, when we enter in the classroom to ask the students, I was your weekend, what did you do? Things like that, okay, and what, what, and uh, if you start by asking these questions, it can make the class uh, more inclusive. And also use of realia to introduce the topic, important, gestures, picture, use pair work, group work, as we already said. And okay, so all these activities can solve challenge of learners feeling isolated. For example, when I talk about the use of realia, for example, in, during some of our lessons, we, we can re, really uh, bring realia. For example, if I said, I want today, we are going to talk about traditional and modern medicines. We already have traditional medicine, we already have modern medicine. We can just bring some in your classes that will help students uh, to understand very well. Uh, okay, so these are some inclusive activities. And now they go, we are going to join our last breakout rooms <laughs> last time to answer to these two questions. Which inclusive activity would work best in your classroom as teachers in your classroom? And we are going to compare your views with your colleagues. Okay, so you have five more minutes for that. Which activity will work best in your areas? Because we are from different countries, we have different realities. Yeah, but I'm not in a uh, breakout room. Hmm? I'm not in a breakout room. You are joining. Uh, my owner is working on that. Uh, actually, <laughs> you've been invited in breakout room number two. Yeah, OK. Yeah. You should have already received the link. Did you receive it? No, no, no. OK, let uh, me reassign you then. OK. Five. Now you've been invited in group number five. I do. Please, I don't. I could not find my breakout room. Uh, you have received. It's an automatic invitation. Just click on the link, and you will be redirected automatically. Okay, great. Have you seen it? I think yes. Uh... You guys, you have a question. Yuga? Where is your hand? Yuga? Oh, he moving okay. in the group rooms. Okay. okay.
Um, it's 10 past the hour, so we've run oh, 10 minutes over. And should, should I, I think perhaps close close the uh, breakout rooms now? That will still give them one minute. Okay, no problem. Patty, is that okay? Okay, yeah. Can you close them now, please, uh, Maimuna? Thanks. Okay. Hello? There is. Yes, I can hear you, Fatih. Uh -huh. When are we supposed to, to end the session? Um, uh, yeah, well, sort of 10 minutes ago, but okay. I mean, there's always a bit of flexibility. So it's okay. okay. As long as we don't go too, bit too long, because then we lose people and then they don't complete the survey, et cetera, et cetera, and it gets, okay. can okay. get messy. Yeah. Okay. So I think five more minutes and then we'll, we'll end. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. Oh, Fati, could you please share uh, your e your signature, electronic signature by email, please? Oh. Yeah, I'll need it for the certificate. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you can sign and then scan it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, not. You don't have to do that now, obviously. <laughs> okay. Yeah, obviously after. <laughs> yeah. Came to my mind. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I you. think we're almost all back. And okay. We can... Thank you. Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. It was quick. I know. <laughs> uh, group uh, two. Group two. No, uh, last time we took uh, group two. Uh, what, what no, no, no. Of, uh, group? No, no, group one. Group one, please. Okay, I think the most inclusive activity is speaking activities like role play and uh, dialogue. Okay, but, but when that I do would, it, that would work best in your classroom, in your area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Role play and dialogue. Okay. When I do it in my classroom, the the, the class is lively. Okay. Thank you. Who is speaking, please? I want this to speak. Is... Hmm? Hello. Hello. Who is speaking, please? Uh, I want to speak, please. This is Mieson. Mieson from Cote d'Ivoire. No, from no, Cote d'Ivoire. No. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I'm Mr. Uh, Robert. Okay. Uh, Robert, please wait. Uh, group group one. You were in group now. Group two. Let's take for group two. Group two. The second group. Uh, hello. Yes. Quickly. What did you get? Yeah, I, I, I was in. Uh, I, I was supposed to be in group two, but uh, the mistakenly I fell into group five, and I was okay. with a colleague from Gabon. Okay. With a colleague from Gabon, we were uh, the two of us were, were from Gabon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we, we have the same proposal. Yes. As includes uh, inclusive activity, we mm -hmm. our learners enjoy mm -hmm. role plays and mm -hmm. singing songs. Okay. Uh, that's Thank what you. our learners really enjoy in Gabon. They, they, they really like it. Okay. Thank you. What they uh, like when they have to come to role play, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Gabon. Uh, group three, quickly, group three. Please, can you remember me? I don't know in which group I was. <laughs> Mr. Sahadu, okay. That's... Uh, oh, wow. I don't wow. have time to remember. Okay. So... Ah, okay. I was with Kasum, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Senegal and Mali, what work in your areas? Yeah, Mr. Saud, go ahead, please. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we were five in the group, mm -hmm. but uh, the others were not able to speak. I know that is because of connection. Only mm -hmm. uh, Kasum and I were able to discuss. And uh, Kasum said that he is mm -hmm. impressed by, uh, with uh, the thing per share. He okay. uses uh, it a lot in his classroom and his students are motivated. Okay. okay. And even okay. those who... Uh, the whole class, okay. The, the many students speak. They they, they they are involved in the language, uh, the learning process. And I I said that uh, 
I most of the time I use the warm up activities because uh, I am in a place where more, many students have got social problems. Uh, in the morning when they come into school, they are not concentrated. You just have to okay to perform some warm up activities to make them wake up. And uh, most of the time when I do it, the students are really engaged and, and ready, uh, ready to learn. For example, if I, I can ask them to give me ten words. 10 okay. names of uh, people who use uniforms. Okay. okay. 10 names of jobs where people use uniforms. Okay. And okay. most of the time they start with students, they say policemen, etc., etc. And okay. then we, we begin with our lesson. Okay. Thank I, I you. I don't know if Kasum has got something to add. Eh? It's, it, it's okay. okay. It's okay, Hello, Senegal please. and Mali. Can I speak to something? <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Faru. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Uh -huh. Faru. Yeah. So this uh, is Pierre from. Uh, are you from Group, group Three? three. Uh, uh, group you wanna three, add yes. something? Yeah, yeah. We were discussing yeah, Group Three about the uh, which activity to use uh, to make students, you know, um, the class inclusive. Uh, okay, so so I, I was I choose you know um, uh, data collection. So I asked the students to go in their society, in their community. Uh, okay. With different questions. Okay. They ask questions to, to the community. They, they, they brought this, this information to the class. They okay. take their other uh, classmates, share the information. The other also, they, they ask questions. Uh -huh. And there is an interaction between the students. Uh, okay. my, my other colleagues, you know, um, my other colleagues, you know, uh, Mrs. Uh, S. Lee, I think, uh, mm -hmm. she said she, she, she used, you know, uh, pay works you know uh, okay. or role play in, in the class where students okay. can go to the front of the class and okay. discuss with the others the other one also uh use you know um writing okay okay, okay. Uh, he makes something and asks the student to to complete okay thank in, in you group. thank you okay thank now you. thank you robert is robert online robert i think robert and then after tal yeah. yes they have questions okay. yes Robert, Robert, let me unmute her. Okay. Robert. Hello. Yes. Sorry. It's good yes, you have the uh, mm. Sorry for the delay. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, uh, in my class, I mm -hmm. used to to give to my student expose and role play. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is what I wanted to say. From Cameroon? Yes, from Cameroon. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Dila, Dila Tala. Okay, yes, this is from Cameroon. From Cameroon, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. uh, in my in my setup or in my area, I would like mm -hmm. to say that uh, we use more of realias. Okay. Uh, Yes, realias, mixed grouping, mm -hmm. and uh, mixed grouping and and uh, sorry, just went off my mind. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we use realias, mixed grouping, and exposés. Okay. Thank yes, exposés. The reason being that. Uh, with all of those, the students can easily remember what they see when you mm -hmm. present real objects or real life scenarios to them. Okay. And then when you get them involved, mm -hmm. they can better remember mm -hmm. everything that they participated in doing. Okay. Thank you, Dila. Uh, I think I saw Jeng and then Yaya Suntura. Yes. As to, as to, as to, uh, you are muted, as to, as to, please, fair the second, and yeah, as to, fair the second, please. I get a name. We normally um, start our classes in the morning with um, three, uh, prayers. Christians pray by their own, and Muslims also pray mm -hmm. by, by their own. Mm -hmm. So normally students are um, more energetic, energetic, sorry, 
they used okay. to uh, make, uh, make fun uh -huh. so that everybody will rest and stress free because there are some students that have oh. problems in their home clothes. Uh -huh. They want to have to express all those um, problems. That so we find it very difficult sometimes to understand students, but to make that fun, it mm -hmm. will allow us to um, make class more inclusive. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think generally <laughs> here in Mali, in our classes, mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, sometimes the dialogues mm -hmm. and uh, after the reports. Okay. Uh, so that uh, the participants or the teachers can master uh, the speaking skills. Okay. That we use here in Mali, and that is our uh, work of the best. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I think that we have we can go to the other the other slides <laughs> because okay. we lack of time. I Sorry, myself, I like I like singing with my <laughs> horrible voice, but I like singing, and my students like that. Okay, now uh, talking about all these inclusive activities, uh, we are going to use a chat board to write uh, what can be the benefit of this inclusive activity in a learning process. Please use the chat board to answer. What can be the benefit of this inclusive activities in our learning process. Yes, it brings confidence to students, Kalifala, okay. Developing communication skills, collaborative skills. Uh -huh. Brings tolerance, okay. No one is left out of forgotten. No one left behind, okay? Help students to share, motivate learners, yes. Increase learners' motivation, inclusivity, brings joy of learning, equality in learning, self-confidence, okay? Students learn themselves. Group work promotes communication among students, motivate learners, high participation, wow. Create a strong classroom community, yes self-confidence, okay. Engage learners, what aim is reached, effective participation, okay, great. Inclusive activities facilitate socialization, okay, great. More motivated, students are more motivated. Okay, so these are some benefits. It energizes and relaxes learners. For example, we warm up at the beginning of a classroom. Okay, active participation of in class. Even shy students will participate. And more opportunities to practice the language, learn from each other, they learn from each other. Opportunity to share knowledge and improve learners' confidence, as you all said. Okay, so these are some benefits. And uh, talking about, uh, active participation of in class, uh, all the students be concerned about these activities. If the student uh, have disability problem or not, or if he has, they have different learning styles, they will all participate in with these inclusive activities. Okay, so that's the end of uh, our webinar today. So thank you so much for your active participation. We learn from each other because now I know that what students from Gabon or Cameroon or Senegal learn uh, the activities they can they learn they can we can use with them through this webinar. So thank you so much for your active participation. Now the floor is yours for your suggestions and questions. Thank you. Thank you, Fatih. Before the Q&A session, um, I would like to just remind you that I'm going to share a link uh, in the chat box. And that link is for those who are interested 
in receiving a certificate of participation. So do not hesitate to fill that form. It will be available for only five hours after the presentation while we are at the end. And uh, it won't take too, uh, too long, just maybe two or three minutes if you would like to receive a certificate. Thank you again. And uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate. So I think we have- Thank you, Maimuna. So yeah, any questions and answers? Go ahead. We have a, a few minutes for, for any, any questions or, or, or thoughts that you'd like to share. I can see four, no, three hands. Alimu, Mr. Alimu, Kondi. Alimu, you are muted. And mute. Okay. Yeah, so I just would like to, to, to give uh, my point of view what I have learned to be this session. Yeah, it's, it's something that is very really good and Last month, during the last month, I did some um, kind of uh, <coughs> seminar with inclusive uh, classroom. Uh, Ali Mo, uh, can you speak, of, uh, can you speak uh, into your microphone, please? A bit more. Sorry. Yeah. Difficult yeah. to hear you. Yeah, Thank okay. You. Thanks. Is it good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so uh, I said that this... Uh, this session is something that is really important because that it let us know that how to uh, manage right now our classrooms because you know in most of our classrooms we have different students okay and thank you very much really really this is uh, what confirmed uh, what i have done last month with uh, this kind of uh, seminar i did it with uh, some uh, they, 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 they taught us how to manage a classroom with students that have some problems. For example, hearing uh, handicaps, some handicaps, and then it is something that is really, really, really good that we, you have shared with us. Because, uh, you know, it, it was not many students that did it but right now this webinar session allows us to understand how to manage a classroom with different students and thank you very much thank you thank you very much thank really. you, Mr. Kwan yes, for participating Mr. Yes, yes sir from Kodiva. from Kodiva, yes <laughs> i would like to have Go tips ahead. from you what uh -huh. can we do to make shy students participate in the class what can we do to make shy students participate in the class. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your questions. Uh, to make shy students participate in a class, uh, I think we can uh, make them work in groups. Would I face this, uh, this challenge? Sorry, uh, please, can I suggest something? Pardon? Can I suggest something to the colleague? Uh-huh. Yeah, who, if a student who, is shy, okay. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, who is speaking? David Morsia from Gabon. Yeah, Miss. Okay, yes, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, yes. Each and every student mm -hmm. has weaknesses and strengths. Okay, try to get uh, in what field that student is very strong, and eh? mm -hmm. and and let him be committed perform that in that field, you know, that will be build uh, self-confidence in him. And from time to time, let him show his strength to all his uh, classmates in the, the area where you know the guy is strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mr. David Moussia. You're someone, someone else have something to add? How to motivate I would like child? to add something. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask something and at the same time uh, talk about uh, my point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, about shy students. I feel that you see you have different learners, different learning styles. Mm -hmm. So it's depend, uh, it is up to the teacher to see what is the best, uh, mm -hmm. the best learning style, which matches with the student, the shy student. 
it's really not easy in Africa because you know in Africa we have large class, mm -hmm. we have large classes to manage. This mm -hmm. is uh, why we we are facing all those challenges. Okay, it's not easy, but uh, if you try, I feel that you will get uh, it will be an answer to uh, your question. Then uh, okay. I would like to talk about my. Yeah. So can you can, can you I... just give me uh, thirty seconds for that? Yeah. Uh, to add something to uh, the shy students, I think group work mm -hmm. is uh, really can really work in that case because I face this uh, uh, difficulty when I put the students in a group and try to uh, uh, motivate the students to be the speaker of the group, he even forgot about his shyness. This can help a lot, I think. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to say that uh, talking about inclusivity, I really love it a lot because mm -hmm. in our classes, most of the time, we don't have time for many students. You see, there are, we have mixed abilities class classroom. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have mixed abilities classroom. And uh, when we talk about inclusivity, I feel that inclusivity is a solution to mm -hmm. face this problem of uh, mixed ability. It's mm -hmm. really a very interesting topic that they love a lot. It's not mm -hmm. easy to apply this into our classroom, but we should try, okay? Yes. We should try and adapt it to our, to our teaching. Thank yes. you very much. So it is a, just a challenge. <laughs> yeah. And we can <laughs> go face it. Yeah, um, you can think it. Yes, Mr. Yuga Fali. All right, hello, Fadi. Hello, from? Okay. You're from Senegal. Senegal, yes. Thank you so much for the very important, uh, I mean, webinar. Mm -hmm. All right, and related to the topic you have chosen, making classroom inclusive. Okay. It gives an uh, opportunity for us uh, as teachers to sometimes cast aside prejudices that we may often have uh, regarding students. Mm -hmm because they don't have the same learning ability, abilities. No. And this is an opportunity for teachers as well to mix all students and to give them equity, meaning giving all of them the opportunity to express themselves and participate in the learning, learning process. Okay. Now, I would like to know if we can have the files of your presentation so that we can, uh, we can be able to deal with the cascading Mm -hmm. with our peer colleagues when we get back to school in uh, October. Okay. Um, perhaps I can answer that. Um, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm, yes, we're, we're happy to, to um, share them. Um, we, can, we can share them to the Telegram, the English Connects Telegram group, um, teachers group as a PDF file. Um, so that way we can upload it. So we, we can do that after, after this seminar is finished. And you're more than welcome to to go ahead and 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 share and use them. Okay, I'm already inside. Thank Great. you. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, Helaj Mahamaduba. You are muted, Mr. Ba. Mr. Ba. From you are from um, Senegal. From, from Senegal. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> So it's a great pleasure for me to participate in this webinar. Okay. okay and I'm very happy as a young teacher, mm -hmm. I can say that I've learned a lot okay, from you. Thank you. I'm very happy about that, for, for that. So, so, so I think uh, talking about shy students, okay, this year I, I had an experience. I had an experience last year Okay. Because I have a first, uh, first class student in CZM class. Mm -hmm. So there she is very, she, it, is, it was a, it is, it's a girl and uh, she was very shy. Okay. She was very shy, extremely shy. And uh, how I managed to do, okay, to make her okay, uh, participate in my classes. So I, 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 first of time, first of all, uh, for the, uh, the first time, okay, I make them work in group. Mm -hmm. As you talked last time, as you, okay, as you tell us last time, last time. Okay. So I make them work in group. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. First, first of all, it was the first, uh, there was the first thing. 
And then also okay. after that, I when I, I most of the time I used to uh, to to let her to let her go to the boat. Okay. To go to the boat. Most of the time, whenever and I have an exercise, I okay. ask her to go to the boat and try to make the call, try to correct. And then okay. after is uh, whether she she got she give the good answer or the the or the answer is good or bad, I encourage her. And also I ask the student to clap their hand for her. Okay. Okay, and from time to time, I, I see that, okay, she, she's really now interested in the, in the language. And also she starts, okay, to, to discuss with the other guys. And also whenever I call her now, whenever, even, even when you ask them to, for example, the list of nomination, nomination when you call them, even okay. she was very shy to say here. Okay. When she say here, you really <laughs> cannot hear her voice. But now after I, I, I noticed that at the at the end by the end of the year, okay. Now whenever I call her, I say Sidi Beso. She's her name is Sidi Beso. I'm going to Sidi And yeah. then after she, I, I'm going to Sidi Beso, and she say, "Answer, sir. I'm here." You see, I <laughs> okay. don't know. At the beginning, she was very shy, but I noticed that at the end, by the end of the year, she is very she is very interesting, and I all the, most of the time I'm I'm very close to her. I discuss okay. with her and I told I and I advise her and then yeah. tell tell her that people don't 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 look at people who are here. Just just be concentrated on, on, on the thing that we are saying. Okay. Don't mind people that are around the, the people that are uh, who are around you. Okay. Okay, and I think I really I managed to 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 make her to to, to make her speak. And then uh, I don't know it's whether it is a good strategy or not, but uh, really I try to do my best for her. But also I'm here waiting for all the beans, okay, to give, to share with us, okay, okay. their experience, how to really make a uh, student very shy, okay, how to make them, uh, okay, participate in our classes. And I'm Thank really you. sorry for being so, so, so long. I'm very sorry, no. <laughs> I'm sorry for, that, for that. Okay. And I'm very happy to be among you. Thank you, Mr. Ma. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have three more people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. So yeah. Okay. Perhaps two. Okay. Yeah. Two or three more Se questions. Okay. Okay. Sending Risha. Yes. Uh, greetings, from, everyone. You are from. I'm from Cameroon. Cameroon. Yes. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and um, I I just want to share something before asking my question. Okay. Yes, I I remember in the in the some some years ago when I I use inclusive uh, activities in the mm -hmm. classroom. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, lots of students were involved and confident, happy also. And I've, I've noticed two things. Okay. Some some in some in uh, some classes, some students in in some classes were uh, telling me, uh, had to discuss with me and they told me they are, they are not happy at all, not happy with me or them, but they are not happy because if they, were, if they had a teacher using in previous days, uh, okay. it would have been very uh, competent by now. Mm -hmm. And some other students finally find the opportunity to cross with without, like a kind of uh, a, a, a still where he's alone there and okay. 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 With students. so the students uh, try to break the limits and approach me and some even revealed some aspect of their life that was very surprised to me. And I try that much as possible. Then my my question is this: mm -hmm. When using activities, activities in the classroom, how mm -hmm. can you how can you sorry? How can you then make the student go back with something written in their books? Because generally, I face that problem. I don't know if there is a particular or specific technique mm -hmm. to let write down something because you know when you after a class you don't mm -hmm. they don't have something in their books the mm -hmm. some of them feel there is something lacking in the lesson mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you then bring 
something as a resume of what mm -hmm. you've done during the, whole, during the whole lesson? That's the question. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. so the education, how can you make uh, your students work a resume after all these activities? So you, after doing the activity, how do you think we can uh, uh, let students take a resume? For what you taught. Yes. Yes. Long, 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 no. Yes. Ernest. Yes. Ernest, you want to answer to the question? No, no, I have a question. Uh, oh, okay, so, so okay, so let me let me answer first to the question. There is a question, okay. and after I will give oh. you the floor. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, I think after doing an activity, uh, you can just uh, give, for example, if it is a grammar lessons, I take an example of a grammar lessons. Um, you can uh, teach the grammar lesson through an activity, and after give some time to the students to take notes. You have, to, at this time, you have to write on the board right. and let the students write it. Yes, I think that is possible. Don't, don't just do an activity and end the class, let them go without taking notes. Otherwise they cannot retain all of that for the next class. It's better to let them write something in their copy books uh, before they leave. I don't know if I'm answering to your question, sir. Okay. Yes, I've heard okay. something. Okay, thank you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ernest? Uh, yes, this is yes. Ernest from Cameroon. Yes. Go okay, ahead. Uh, the, oh, all right, the, this is my question. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do we make um, our lessons inclusive in the context of large classes? Wow. Because some years, some years back, I found myself in a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. I had a class of uh, 120 students, and it was okay. quite difficult to, to conduct my activities in class. Okay. So, so, how, so how do we do in such a case? Okay. Yeah. How, how do we conduct uh, inclusive activities in a large classes? <laughs> Okay, for me, uh, it's possible. It's a challenge, but uh, we, we can do it because we are facing this problem, in, especially in Mali. We are dealing with large classes. I myself, I use uh, group work. I make them work in groups. And generally, I write the activities. I try to put the activities on, on, a, on, a, sheet of, on a sheet of papers and cut the activities and share it among the groups. That is possible. Otherwise, it's not it's not easy. It's not easy, but uh, we have to do to deal with it. So I use instead of writing every time the activities on the board, I just type them and share the activity uh, among the groups. And for the feedback, you cannot take all the groups at the same time. Maybe you can take uh, five groups to answer to this activity. Next time you can choose another group. So I think that can be a kind of uh, uh, solution about it. Otherwise it's really uh, a challenge in large classes. Mr. Hey, Ernest, thank you. Yes, yeah. we are facing the same problem here. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. Mr. Ulale? Mr. Ulale, you are muted. Uh, sure. Where are you from? I'm from Mali. Ah, okay, welcome. And I thank you for your great presentation. It was thank really you. interactive. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, long, uh, I just would like to react about the first question, which is uh, how to make uh, uh, the shy students participate. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, actually, what I do, mm -hmm. 
is at the very beginning, I try to anticipate by telling students that uh, uh, making a mistake is a part of learning the language. It is not a crime, but it is really normal. Okay. We have to make effort in order to uh, correct this, uh, uh, these weaknesses, which is uh, the, the language skills. Okay. So after this, I have, uh, at the very beginning, I mm -hmm. had a technique. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know if it is good or not, but anyway, mm -hmm. I tell to the students, all the students at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, that we are going to do a kind of a self evaluation at the end. Okay. What is it? I'm going to see how many questions you have been able to answer during the session. Okay. Then uh, I let them copy down uh, or jot down at any time they find a good answer. Then I say it is good. Then uh, they make it one point. Then okay. at the end of the course, we, we, we try to count. Okay. And uh, yes, the one who answers uh, the question, mm -hmm. uh, many questions, Mm -hmm. is designed as the queen of the day. So with this strategy, really, I could uh, stimulate the students to participate uh, normally, all the students to the courses. Okay. Oh. They were, uh, Thank you. Very question. Thank they you. are really very uh, motivated to answer the question. That is it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ulale, for sharing. Thank you very oh. much. Mr. Pierre Sakami. Second John. <laughs> Sorry, second. Okay. second John. Second John. Yes. <laughs> oh, From thank Senegal. you, Mrs. Padu, for yeah, for your okay. opinion uh, presentation. Thank uh, you. I, I would like to, to bring a contribution to the first question related to intensity or yes. confidence or uh, silence. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think that sometimes you know the, the intensity of some students is not the fact that they are shy, but it is sometimes our the activities we are dealing with do not interest them. Okay. And this is uh, why we, we do our best to, to, to know our students at the beginning of the year. We can ask them about their hobbies, what they like. Example, okay. some girls, they like novelas, something like that. But so if you deal with okay. novelas, they will have ideas and they will say something. Boys, sometimes they like football. Example, if you talk about Messi, mm -hmm. etc., et they will have ideas. Okay. But so mm -hmm. sometimes, but if the activities we are dealing is far from what they want, we may have problem of mm -hmm. uh, uh, being interactive with, with them. And apart from okay. this, okay, this year I, I did a kind of a kind of outing and I see mm -hmm. my students were free because sometimes the, 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 the four world is something like a prison for them. But okay. doing some outings, designing your class inclusively in these outings can can help, you know, to have, you know, students who are, you know, um uh, like, you know, uh, very well done in the class. Maybe out of mm -hmm. the class, they, they may something, they may interact because they will see the environment and they will be free like as they are in their houses or as they are in, 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 in the street. And this can okay. help also. Okay. Okay, Thank this is what you. I wanted to ask, to add. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. John. Uh, I, I think, um, Fati, we might have need to make this the, the last question, unfortunately. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well, last question. Mm. Ah. <laughs> so many questions, oh, which is Ms. great. Yeah, Mr. Jakite. Mr. Jakite. Yes, you are muted. Uh huh. Yes. Where are you from? We can't hear you. Speak up, please. Hello. Yes. Uh huh. Hello. Yes. We can hear uh, you now. Okay, Where I'm are you from Mali. From Mali, okay. Yes, and hello to you, my chair woman. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm very happy mm -hmm. uh, to join to you, mm -hmm. and I really want to thank you, especially for mm -hmm. the different document we have received in Mali <laughs> about the English connector app. So uh, after this. And this uh, webinar is from an about, English Connect uh, program. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, okay. So I have a problem with uh, 
the management of time. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, it is uh, not very easy with a large class to, mm -hmm. to work with them and mm -hmm. uh, to control also the, the time. Okay. So really, I want your help uh, to give me some advice about that so that in the future we can face uh, all our uh, difficulties about uh, managing time. Okay, time management. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Mr. Jackse. Okay, time management. This we are facing this uh, problem with large classes most of the time. Okay, it's it's just a challenge, <laughs> but uh, we can deal with it by just trying to. If you want to uh, do three or four activities in a in your class, so try to write the number of minutes you want to take in each activity. That will help a lot. For example, if you want to do the activity in five minutes, then do the debrief in two minutes. Uh, I think we can write them there just 10 minutes for the activities. It, it means that we will have uh, uh, the time to do the instruction, the time to give them uh, for the, the group work and the time for debrief. And that will help you uh, managing your time. I think. Okay. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Okay, Kiros. <laughs> thank you. Excellent suggestion, Fatty. Absolutely. Yeah. Build, build in flexi time to the, to okay. the yeah, great. Thank you. And okay. uh, Miss, maybe I can add that uh, for inclusive activities mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the English Connect uh, video, I think it's eight. Uh, possibly, yes, yes I, I can't yes. remember. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. The, for the, for English Connects, we are yeah. the, on the, the different videos, the 10 videos. I think the number eight deal with mm. four different activities, in different inclusive activities mm. you can do in your classes to make them inclusive. Oh, well, Thank you. Okay, that's please. right. Thank you very much, Fati. And we will so, um, we will send round, um, send send a link in the in the English Connects um, Telegram group with a link to um, the, the teacher video series. Um, and as Fatih said, you will find more about inclusive uh, teaching there. Um, and we'll also send a, a PDF version of the, of the presentation um, by, by Fatih Dembele uh, today. So thank a you. big, big thank you to Fati. Um, fantastic for, for, for delivering the seminar and and um, and um, and uh, hopefully you know making it um, as inclusive as possible. I, I think many of you um, many of you participated in different ways by writing and speaking and thinking and discussing and listening. Um, so thank you very much for, to all of you for, for your participation. Um, don't forget to um, just go in and um, click uh, the complete the, the feedback and then you can get a, a participation um, certificate um, for today. So again, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you to Maimuna for all the uh, technical support. Um, and, uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> And we hope to see you next month for the for the next um, for the next uh, webinar in the English Connects um, Teach webinar series. Until then, take care. All the best, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Fatih. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Maimuna. Thank you, Fatih. And bye. Thank you, Fatih. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, <laughs> Angola, Djibouti. Uh, Fati? Yes? Yeah, uh, it's me again, David from Dabo. I'd like to uh, share my experience. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, it's almost close, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're discussing the um, yes. uh, Telegram group. Yes, on Telegram groups. Yes, we will. Because yeah. I'm from a, I'm from a military school. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for being here all. Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Can I answer Nyoko Bok? Yes, I'm learning Wolof. 
Yeah, yeah, that's great. Because Dr. Sam 